people. I hope all is well. I hope all is well. And welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison, certified dating and relationship coach, and I primarily work with busy professional women to move them from frustrated with dating to happily married. And today we are talking about two ways for you to attract a good man. Let's go. So number one, I need you to be exuding confidence exuding confidence what does that look like in every aspect of your life and your world i need you to own it we're talking about professionally we're talking about physically we're talking about spiritually so when you see mental health professionals talking about doing the work this is the work when you see someone who's like wow He's confident. She's confident. It's because they feel good about where they are in their lives. Whatever their measurement of good is, whatever their um, their categories of life may be, they feel good about where they are. And that's really what it boils down to. I need you to feel good about where you are and how you present to the world. So these are some of the things that you can do to boost your confidence. And these are not rinky dink like these are going to be practical and may not sound nice but this is the truth number one what do you feel the least confident about in your life is it your education is it your finances is it where your business is in this moment in life is it where you are professionally is it your skin so outward appearance is it teeth is it hair is it physique whatever it is both inside and outside, I want you to do and figure out whatever it is, do an inventory and decide what is it that bothers me the most about my life that I know that I'm not performing the best. A poor relationship with God, a poor relationship with your parents, with your siblings, you have no friends. Whatever it is internally that's bothering you, I need you to do an inventory and figure out that thing. Whatever is bothering you externally, I need you to do an inventory and identify that thing. Once you've identified the one internal and one external area of your life that is bothering you the most, you then need to create a plan about how we going to fix it. How are we going to fix this thing? If it's your education, then what do you want to study? Do you want to finish your degree? Do you want to pivot to something else? Which programs would be the best fit for you? Do you need to be online school because of your work or your family or whatever? Do you prefer to be in person? Which institution has your program? Which one has the most affordable? Does it matter the name of the institution, right? Depending on your industry, you might have to have a high name or whatever it might be. Maybe you just go to a nice little local Brooklyn college like I did. You need to create a plan as to how you're going to fix that thing because, again, we are exuding confidence. Now, mind you, yes, we title it the two ways for you to attract a good man, but this is more than just attracting a good man. We are not centralizing men in our lives. We are working on becoming the best versions of ourselves for ourselves, and by default, Everyone that we're in a relationship with wins because they get the best version of us. So now we're getting a better version of us and our church gets to win because now we get to invest more in our church. We're able to pay tithes. We're able to volunteer. We're able to support the church and their needs. Our sisters are getting better versions of us. So then now we're spending quality time with them. We're getting back to how it was when we were kids, whatever that looks like. Our man gets a better version of us. We're happier. We're healthier. We're more fulfilled. So yeah, yeah, you know, look past the title. The point is, is that I do want you to be your most confident self for you, but this is a dating and relationship page. So how does that impact your romantic life? When you are showing up as the most confident version of you, both in and out, you are bright, like a star, like the sun in a room. People are attracted to you, right? Not finding you attractive, but they are attracted to you like a magnet. You are noticeable. They see you. They want to be around you. They want to be a part of whatever the hell you got going on. They want a piece of it. Now, in another video, we can discuss how to be mindful of the bloodsuckers, right? But for right now, we're talking about how you can gather the confidence that you need to exude it so that you attract the types of men that you want. The type of man that you want doesn't want to be around a woman who's insecure. Doesn't want to be with a woman who's insecure. Why? He's making power moves. He's out here. He's grinding. He's socializing. He's networking. It may be with other women, right? I'm not talking about in a sexual way at all. 
So he doesn't need somebody who's on his back, who's texting him every 10 minutes, when are you coming home? Who's counting down the clock? Who doesn't have something else going for her that's preoccupying her time where he is the center of her life? I know you may hear otherwise, but the truth of the matter is they don't want you to make them the center of their lives. They want you to have vision. They want you to have a dream. They want you to have aspirations. They want you to also support their dreams and their aspirations. They don't want a blank piece of paper. And any man that you want wouldn't want that. Any good man that you want wouldn't want that for you. So again, number one, I need you to exude that confidence. Fix it. If it's outward, fix it. Get the braces. I don't care if you're going to be walking around like a metal mouth for a year and a half. That's a year and a half, and, and you're 42, and you've been covering your smile for the last 40 years. At least you get a year and a half, you're in and out, like prison. Serve your time and get out and feel good and show it off. If you want to go to Columbia because you don't even want to spend the year and a half, and just make sure you do your research. Make sure you do your research, all right? I don't care what you do. Th there should be no, you know, I'm covering my belly with my large purse. You think people falling for that? They know what it is. They know we covering that belly. Get rid of the belly. Burn the belly fat. Burn it in the gym. Burn it on the table. I don't care what you do. But I need you to be exuding this level of confidence. Do it safely, y'all. And don't get into a crazy dead over it either. Do it safely so that you feel better about yourself. And it's not about the fact that now he likes you because you have these great choppers. Now he likes you because you have this little waist. Now he might have noticed you because you exuded a different energy. You put yourself in the forefront. You are noticeable because you feel great about you. You ask a guy, he's like, I don't care about stretch marks. I don't care about, you know, those saggy sits. She had my baby. I don't, they don't care. We do. So since you do, fix it. Okay. Secondly, and most importantly, is exuding a positive energy. Nobody wants to be around a negative Nancy. Nobody wants to be around a negative Nathan. Nobody wants to be around people who are jaded or angry at life. They're only going to bring you down. You don't want that for yourself, so you have to make sure that you're not exuding that to others. You cannot trauma dump on people. Tell them their whole life. Tell them your whole life story. They ask about an ex, you can say things didn't work out. If they ask why, you can give a little tidbit about what you did wrong. Please make sure you include what you did wrong because no one is a 100% victim, okay? A little bit about what potentially you did wrong in a general sense, a little bit of what they did wrong in a general sense, and move on. This is a minute, two minutes max. We are not dwelling. We ain't talking about how these N-words ain't ish and these B-words ain't ish. And, and uh, no, no one wants to be around that. And guess what? People pick up on energy from a mile away. So you go out and you're not even necessarily scoping or looking or thinking someone's paying attention. And you there ice grilling people and being a hater and being nasty and whispering about this girl in the corner, whispering about that girl in the corner. And the food don't even taste good. And you being argumentative with the waiter and no one wants to be around a negative Nancy and a negative Nathan. Change it. Change it and change it today. Walk in with a smile. Be warm. Be pleasant. Exude a positive energy. All right, beautiful folks? I hope that you guys have gotten some value from this video. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, share. Do all of the things. And if you need additional support around dating and relationships, please check out the free resources, the low-cost resources that are on my website, alignwithallison.com. And if you are a successful, busy, professional woman who is frustrated with dating and you do desire a healthy, happy relationship that leads to marriage, please make sure that you book a consultation with me so that I can enroll you into my coaching program, The Part You Deserve, which has helped over 250 women do just that, get into the healthy, happy relationships that they desired with like-minded, equally yoked men, and they have created and crafted the love life that they deserve with my help. So make sure that you book your consultation as well. All right, beautiful people. I'll see you in the next video.